Welcome back, everyone. The weather across our region has been very quiet as high pressure sits in control, and that's what's delivering the sunshine out there. I do want to start us off, though, with Storm Scan 3 that's picking up on a little bit of activity well to our north and west. And I show you this just because some of those streamers can certainly make their way as far south as the Pocono Mountains. And speaking of the mountains, they're seeing a little more cloud cover compared to everyone else. But that's going to be the name of the game. We'll certainly see a few more clouds as the afternoon comes in. And by tonight, that's exactly. What we're calling it partly cloudy, temperatures down to around 52. It'll be cool, it'll be quiet, but most importantly, the quiet weather continues through tonight. Then we change our attention to, well, this powerhouse of a system. It is Hurricane Ian, and it is going to make landfall early today. In fact, in a few hours, we're going to see this make landfall across just north of Fort Myers, and this is still something to watch. The actual pinpoint location is going to be something we'll be watching closely, but nonetheless, Less, it does look like that eye is moving closer and closer to the shore. So it looks like we're moments away from landfall at the moment. We're going to continue to watch this closely, not only because of the interest that we have in the United States, but some of this moisture will be moving through the southeast, eventually making its way towards the northeast region and mid Atlantic. And it does look like it's shaping up to be unsettled for the start of the weekend. Let's go ahead and talk timing because if you have any plans for Saturday, you may want to keep them indoors. This is Saturday morning and it's showing the rain across our region. Notice what happens as I move the clock forward. This is steady rainfall. This is two o'clock and denoted by the darker greens and even the brighter returns. We're talking steady to moderate rain. We move the clock forward and these tropical showers continue even through the evening hours. It does look like rain begins to taper off in time for Sunday, but we're not completely drying out. Take a look at the next couple days. In fact, we'll stay dry for the rest of the week. So enjoy it because the change will start arriving here as early as Friday night. That'll give way to showery weather, tropical rainfall as we kick off the start of the weekend. So those scattered showers begin to taper on Sunday, but I am keeping the chance of rain Monday and even Tuesday of next week. But I also want to bring your attention to how much cooler it's trending starting Friday. Well, we're going to be in the upper 60s by the time the weekend rolls in. We're talking middle 60s both Saturday, Sunday. And it gets even cooler by Monday of next week. Are you guys ready to have a high of around 63 degrees? I think I was generous. But yeah, Janelle's shaking her head. I'm, I'm not, fine with it. I'm not ready for it either. <laughs> well, Jim, you're special. <laughs> a lot of people have said that. Thank you, Larissa. Appreciate it.